Giant anteater. Giant anteater. G I A N T A N T E A T E R. This furry animal may get its name from eating ants, but it also eats termites and bees. It's called giant because it is a lot bigger than the tamandua, pangolin, and other anteaters. Giant anteaters walk on their knuckles instead of their paws to keep their long, sharp claws from getting dull and worn. They move around with their long nose near the jungle floor, searching for food. When the giant anteater finds an ant nest, it tears and digs into the nest with its powerful claws and uses its sticky two-foot tongue to catch the ants. But even though giant anteaters can eat over 30,000 bugs each day, they only take a few bugs from each ant nest, so the nest doesn't die out. Tamandua. T-A-M-A-N-D-U-A. Of all the animals that eat ants in the jungle, the tamandua is the most common. While they spend most of their time in the canopy, tamanduas are equally at home on the jungle floor. Their tails can grab onto tree branches like a hand, allowing them to safely lean out to lick up a nearby ant. Their curved claws are used to open ant nests and termite nests, exposing the ants and termites inside that the tamanduas grab with their sticky tongues. Mushroom. M U S H R O O M. Funguses that look like an umbrella with a round cap on top of a stalk are called mushrooms. They live off the dead trees, animal dung, or rotting plants that litter the jungle floor. Mushrooms can be any color except green. A lot of the white or brown mushrooms can be eaten in salads and other dishes. But other mushrooms, especially those with bright colors, are poison. People die every year from eating poisonous mushrooms they thought were safe, so it's safer just to get them at the store. Fungus. F-U-N-G-U-S. Funguses are in a class by themselves because they are not animals and not plants. Molds found growing on bread, mildew growing in the bathroom, and mushrooms are all different types of fungus. Funguses cannot make their own food, so they grow on plants and animals to get food. Funguses grow best in warm, humid areas and are very common in jungles. Many types of fungus are useful, slowly changing the dead plants and animals that they live on into soil. Some funguses are bad because plants get sick when the fungus grows on them, or animals get sick when they eat the fungus. Naturalists know of more than 100,000 types of funguses, but at least twice as many types are still unknown. Leaf frog. L E A F F R O G. The brown speckled skin on leaf frogs is perfect for blending in with the leaves lying on the jungle floor. To be sure they look like a leaf, the frogs have ridges on their back that look like the veins on a leaf. Skin like pointed horns stick over and hide their eyes. Since other animals know leaves don't have eyes, the leaf frog hopes small animals will ignore it, walking close enough for the leaf frog to snap them up into its wide mouth. C O C K O F T H E R O C K. Like the peacock, it's the male cock of the rock that is the more colorful. Only the males have the bright orange feathers that make this bird so recognizable. The males gather in big groups on the jungle floor, all using their colorful feathers to try and attract a female. But the male doesn't help the female hatch the eggs. Only the female will sit on the nest because her dull brown feathers make it hard for enemies to spot both her and the nest. To be extra safe, 
the female often makes her nest on ledges high above the jungle floor. Peacock, P-E-A-C-O-C-K. These birds are known for their fan-like tails, which they use to attract a mate. The females are actually called pea hens, and like the female cock of the rock, have dull feathers to make them hard to see when they sit on their nests. Also like the cock of the rock, it is the male that is the colorful one. Both males and females eat seeds, fruits, and bugs. But they are really not very picky and will eat almost anything. People have reported peacocks chasing each other all around the bamboo stalks. Then the peacocks just stop and walk away. Naturalists are still trying to figure out this odd behavior. <laughs> Zebra plant, Z-E-B-R-A-P-L-A-N-T. Zebra plants have wide leaves with dark stripes that look like the stripes of a zebra. These plants were first found growing wild in the Amazon jungle. Today, zebra plants are frequently seen in homes and can be bought at almost any flower shop. They usually do not bloom when grown indoors. But wild zebra plants have pretty white flowers. <laughs> Cashew. C-A-S-H-E-W. Some nuts, like coconuts and Brazil nuts, are protected by a thick, hard shell. But the cashew nut makes sure it can grow into a new tree in a different way. The cashew tree has sweet-smelling pink flowers growing at the end of a long stalk. When the flowers start to die, the stalks grow into a soft, sweet lump called a cashew apple. The cashew nut, covered by two thin shells, grows on the end of the lump. Between the inner and outer shells of the cashew is a bad-tasting juice that can burn the skin. Most animals learn not to bite the cashew shell and just eat the cashew apples, leaving the cashew nut behind. B R A Z I L N U T the Brazil nut grows at the top of a tree that is over a hundred feet tall. The creamy yellow flowers on the tree turn into round, dark brown pods with about 20 nutshells packed inside. When ripe, the pods fall from the tree to the jungle floor. The pod shells are very hard to open. People have to use hammers to open them. In the jungle, only the agouti's sharp teeth and powerful jaws can crack the pods open. Inside are the Brazil nuts, hard shells with a sweet white core that tastes a bit like coconut. Only nuts that have been chewed by agoutis can grow into Brazil nut trees, so people cannot grow them on farms. They will only grow in the jungle. Either my eyes are going bad, or that's a potu sitting on that log. Beetles are the garbage trucks of the jungle. They haul away all kinds of dead stuff. Either my eyes are going bad, or that's a potu sitting on that log. Pineapple. P-I-N-E-A-P-P-L-E. -E. Pineapples are one type of bromeliad. Although they are now grown in many different places, this sweet, juicy fruit first came from the Amazon jungle. Its rough, thorny skin keeps it from being eaten by animals that like its taste. Bromeliad. B-R-O-M-E-L-I-A-D. Bromeliads are plants with a special way to water themselves. Bromeliad leaves form a bowl to catch the rainwater as it falls. Large bromeliads can hold as much as a whole bathtub of water in their leaves. 
Some bromeliads are epiphytes, growing in the canopy trees. Wakaris drink from them. Birds nest in them, and some frog babies grow up in them. There is even a crab that only lives in bromeliad bowls. One type of ground bromeliad even provides fruit for people. The pineapple. Oh. 